I owe one. I didn't shop again. I'm making a little project to make life a little bit easier for these raggedy old bones. And it does a good job of condensing or, or adding together the woodworking and the auto working. So I'm going to make some extensions for my dollies. And I've already cut all the pieces to length done some of the machining but on this one here I apparently had to replace a bolt with a bigger bolt so my countersunk holes here that I'm using to keep it from sliding back and forth I got to make one of them bigger so we'll get going and see what it does using a forcener bit here this makes a nice round hole with a flat bottom Gives it a good edge for the bolts to get snagged in the holes. I'm using the mounting bolts for the caster wheels to keep the boards from sliding as we push the car around. Seems like it's going to do a pretty good job of locking them in. Since the hole is already drilled, I didn't have a center hole that I could reach. So I'm spending a little extra time getting it to line up properly. There's a ridge in the uh, wheel dollies that keeps the my cross beam from laying flat. So here I've set up my router and tested it to fit. I'd already cut them, but uh, I didn't cut them deep enough. So here I'm taking all of them, rerunning through the router, and putting a rabbit in it. And there's the rabbit, and there's the little ridge that I'm compensating for. I'll get these things and start putting them together. And here you see it drops over the heads of the bolts and locks itself in place. I have to offset the uh, two befores a little bit. I had to keep them short because I didn't want them to stretch over that ridge. So. Made me a little block there that's the proper dimension so I can line them up and put these cross beams on and offset them just a tick. This first attempt I bit to screw them together, awkward, and as you can see here a little deeper into the video, I come up with a better plan. I was trying to figure out a way to drill the holes and then get the glue on and then get everything all lined back up and so I was putting the screws in and giving them a little bit of a head start so they stuck out the bottom and line them up in the hole but when you do that and screw the next screw in it kind of holds it off the board it won't pull it down so I had to put the screw in and back the screw off and then screw it back in but I came up with a much better plan of just using a clamp and drilling everything that way worked out much better. Things all together, don't need the casters anymore. And then setting the cross beams on them, and I'm staggering the screws for the layers. So I've marked which side I'm going to put them in. And as you can see here, I clamp it down, I can do all of the pre drilling and counter sinking uh, much simpler. It made putting the process together quite a bit quicker.
first test fit. Put them in. Got to put it here under the back ones. And you can kind of see the how far it's lifted it. It's lifted about almost 11 inches from the ground. And to go along with the extensions on the casters, as you can see, like most jacks, this has a depression and the ears sticking up, which is great for holding up a rear end on a car you don't care about scratching. So I've taken me a piece of three quarter inch plywood, use the plywood because that way it won't split across the green if I just used a regular piece of wood. Rounded the corners, chamfered the bottom, sits right in there and it sits above the little fingers. And to go along with that, in case I decide I want to put another row, and for the times when I need some more lift, put the same base and put it on the plywood also so it won't split. And screwed and glued some tube cores on top. And that gives me another five inches or so of lift. Should work out quite nicely. And I'm sure I'll find plenty of opportunities to use this when it just didn't go quite high enough. I wasn't real happy with how the jams came out when I painted the tub outside in the yard. So we're going to paint all the body panels separately on one painting trip to the paint booth I'm borrowing. And then uh, we'll take the tub and paint it afterwards. But since I've got the doors, pretty closely aligned. I've taken an eighth inch drill and drilled a hole in both hinges all the way through into the door and of course I won't take the hinges off the body and this will get me really close when I put the doors back on the car. Got them all done. Got them up. Works out that uh, without any blocks on the jack the two rows plus the wheel dollies are just as far as the jack would go. So if I decide I need it higher, I will get to use my little extension block. But I think this is going to be handy. While I've tightened up most of the bolts for the body, I'm sure when it gets to the final assembly, I'll need to be jockeying something. And this will allow me to crawl under the car make those adjustments and shins and still have the full weight on the wheels so it won't change once we get it off of the blocks. Well, I'm pretty happy. Pretty nice little project. And now all I need to do is get my brother and I motivated enough to do another session. A little more blocking. We're, we're doing what I think is the final blocking and uh, we'll put on some uh, K2 sealer, prep it down with 600, and I've made arrangements to get into a paint booth. I'm going to spray all the panels off the car, respray the tub so I can get the door jams done. Uh, the first time I did them, I pushed it outside, and in the glare of the sun, I just couldn't see the paint, and it ended up, while shiny, has a fair amount of orange peel in it, look kind of grainy. So I'll address that and then it will be final assembly. So once again, thanks for watching.